Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce the reminder deck in hindsight. 33 reminders to support you in your expansion and renew oneself. The holy grail of reminders. This is self-care. This is color therapy. Yeah. It's actually a very nice experience. Coming to you. Make sure to add it to your self-care routine. Your energy is an investment. Get yours at no. dot com. Well, that was fun. Today, we have the holy grail of reminders. We have every single reminder that I believe we're going to need to move forward and grow, evolve, and just dive deeper and have a stronger relationship with ourselves. you understand? And the most high, of course. Now, if you are a recent viewer of the channel, y'all know we've been going over reminders and affirmations for like over a year now. We have some pretty big videos on them. But I decided to take every strong reminder that we talked about on our podcast, on the channel, and put it into a physical product so we can wake up in the morning before we go to bed, have a mindful reminder, have a prompt for our journals. There's so many uses for this and we're going to be doing so many videos. First, I want to thank everyone who's already copped some. I know some of you are being like, what? These are already out. They've been quietly out for like a month now. Um, we had a soft release, <laughs> but I want to show you all these. Like these are the holy grail of reminders. We're going to do a reading today. We're going to talk. We're going to chill. This is the number one chill spot on YouTube. If this is your first time here, my name is Heinz. And today in hindsight, let me first show you. Mm. We got it covered so you know. We keep the colors protected, keep the material protected. Now this, oof, look at that. We did not cheap out on the quality, my friend. Like when you pick this up, a few people have already said like, this feels like luxury. Now it's got a magnet closed, so the cards will never fall out. Now every deck when you open it up is gonna have instructions here. And then our 33 reminders. This reminds me of like the Egyptian hieroglyphics, but we have every card illustration. Now every card has its own illustration, its own art piece and a message on the front and the back. So this is like a whole experience. It's a whole package. As you can see, the colors are immaculate, but the cards. Let me tell you, we got down to the detail on these cards, like the rounded edges, so you don't poke yourself, but it's a smooth experience. It feels like a massage on your fingertips, like, oh my God, it's like, it's actually a very nice experience. And then the colors, we made sure to get every color down to the detail, like the color codes on this to the manufacturer. I was stressing the manufacturer. I was like, listen, the green's not right. And they're like, no, nah, no, nah, it's close enough. I'm like, close enough? No, nah, I don't really be yelling, but. I got my, uh, my my vocal cords up a little bit higher than it usually goes because I was like, no, it needs to be perfect. You understand? That green needs to be perfect. Those browns need to be perfect. You understand? We're talking about a community here. We're talking about self-reflection. We're talking about strengthening ourselves. We're talking about making sure our days have the gentle reminders we need to elevate and renew oneself. So we made sure this, we made sure that this was just right. I say let's read the first card here. We're going to go through these cards. We're going to chat. We're going to have our tea. This is in the morning chill spot. Remember, the first card says, heal people, heal people. Mm. And if we read on the back, it says, you are a healer. The healing you are doing today will heal others, creating a positive ripple effect that will inspire and nurture the world. Isn't that beautiful? So continue the work, my friend, you are doing great. You know, we'd be so obsessed with our healing that we forget that we are healers as well. Just like the little bit of work that we're doing, taking time for ourselves, having our tea, having that positive reflection, 
that creates change within ourselves and in the world. And I believe that we need to congratulate ourselves for how far we have come and stop focusing on how far we have to go. Now, it's a beautiful thing to get excited about where we have to go, but sometimes we allow that to create procrastination and anxiety in us and we don't give ourselves credit for the hurdles that we have already come over and the fact that we have value to give others. You are a healer as well and healed people heal people now these cards are meant for renewal you understand to support you throughout your day to rejuvenate oneself it's also a great journal prompt so sometimes i'll pull a card in the morning and i'll say heal people heal people and i'll write okay let's write about that let's write about the experiences that i have healed from and let's write about what i want to bring into this world how do i want to help my community my friends and you know, the people who tune into my channel. I know some of us, we love to journal and it gets difficult because we're like, what do we wanna journal about? So these cards give you first off the inspiration through words and messaging, but also the color palettes and the imagery to allow that process to just be like a little bit easier, right? This is great for habit stacking. If you already have like a routine, you know, you may wake up, listen to the In Hindsight podcast, which is coming back very soon have your cup of tea you may stretch do some yoga qigong you may meditate you may pray just add another habit to that routine spice it up a little bit like you may pull a card and it may not resonate for you today but pull it again in six months and it may it may be exactly what you need you understand so these cards you can use for the rest of your life now let's talk about this process now it took us a full year you know shout out to Souf, shout out to adrian who designed the deck an amazing artist from london oh my god let me tell you this guy is amazing his illustrations it's the way he works the collaboration with him was so cool um, my buddy Souf, who also did creative direction with adrian went to london and worked with him personally so like we were really working hard to make sure everything felt in alignment it takes sacrifice to have a deeper relationship with yourself you understand this says at times we may have to let go of people or habits that no longer serve us this is not a loss it's an opportunity take a seat and have an interview not an interview but an interview going deep within ourselves. there is so much more to you than you even know but it takes sacrifice to have a deeper relationship with yourself. This card was inspired by a season I was in seven years ago where I made so much sacrifice. I went celibate, I changed the way I eat, I changed my, uh, my friend group, I evolved my friend group, I actually kind of went into isolation. I was sacrificing so many things in the present moment that allowed me to leap forward later in life and gave me new tools within myself to understand myself, to see the world in a new light, and then one day give value again. Let's uh, let's go through another, another card. First, I just wanna show you the multitude of colors, right? I love it. Um, I've been pulling them myself. You know, I've been using them myself. You know, my girl's been using them. I have friends that have been using them. My mom uses them. My mom actually calls one of her, one of her friends every day and pulls a card for her. And then her friend is like, oh my God, like this is exactly what I needed to hear today. Like, how does that work like that? <laughs> like, it's amazing. Um, let me try to find one of my favorites. One of my, oof, oof, that one. I'm gonna save that one for a different video, oof. The self-love is service card. Oh my God, that one just feels different. Ah, oh, this one's beautiful. Sometimes all that you have is all that you need. Oof. Sometimes all that you have is all that you need, my friend. It says, don't underestimate yourself, my friend. God has given you everything that you need to succeed. Sometimes all that you have is truly all that you need. You are ready. Sometimes we try to trick ourselves out of the process, trick ourselves out of a position because we think that, oh, we need more of this, we need more of that. But right now, you have exactly what you need to accomplish this step. 
I remember I remember when I started shooting videos, I had like no equipment really. I had like one lens and a pair of roller blades. And I could have sat and cried and said, oh, I don't have proper lighting. I don't have the right lens. I don't have something to stabilize the camera. I said, I have all that I need. I have my mind, my creativity, my spirit, and I have a camera. I may not have the things that help the camera, but I have all that I need to master this stage, to master this step. And I've taken that concept with me in every stage of my life. And once I master one stage, once you master this stage, boom, you're gonna step into a new position. But have gratitude for where you are because you have all that you need, my friends. Sometimes all that you have is all that you really need. You may be like, oh, I don't have a big friend group right now. Maybe you have one friend. And that is all that you need. Quality over quantity. I love it. You see how these cards can just inspire a situation in the past or inspire the future and just give us the necessary reminder that we need because I believe the answers, you know, the kingdom is already within. And if we just take time every single day, we can have that exponential growth, that peace within us. Peace is a process. And we will just have more of a calm and settled and grounded mindset, energy, and perspective moving forward. I want to do one more reminder. Um, now, the beautiful thing is I think every single day we all like have a mood, we have an aura, we have an essence. So sometimes you could choose a card simply by the color, right? Like, how are you feeling today? You know, some days I'm feeling very blue. You know, I've been wearing a lot of green lately. I'm actually, I want to put my car in a green wrap as well, but I, I don't know. I've just been loving greens lately. So you, we have like the whole spectrum of color. Like I said, this is color therapy. This is visual therapy as well. So you could pick it on the color you are feeling right now. I could feel someone going right for this one in the middle. The colors on this one itself is so calming. You were before you are look at those colors look at that palette like literally just meditate on those colors like mm, you know that's the essence that's the energy for today it says on the back all the strength the love the confidence the compassion you know the resilience that you are looking for is already within you our experiences and faith activate what's already been given to us you were before you are remember who you are, I am. You understand? That reminds me of uh, a quote in scripture where it says, I knew you before uh, your mother's womb, or I knew you when you were in your mother's womb, whichever one it is. And it's kind of like this knowing that before we even came here, we were cultivated, we were creative, like we have like a spirit. And I think a lot of the times we are just tapping into those reminders, remembering who we are and realizing that the strength is within us. The compassion is within us. The creativity is within us. And how are we going to activate it? Life is going to help us activate it. Our experiences are going to activate it. Shifting our mindset is going to activate it. Developing our faith is going to activate it. You were before you are, you understand? Like the kingdom is truly within. And I believe there is a gift, there is a seed that has been planted within you, stored within you. And just like a real seed, a seed needs a little bit of light and a little bit of water for it to sprout and blossom. Our seed within needs our light, you understand? Which is our belief. It needs water, which is our works, it's our action right so it's time to activate who you are because you were before you are you understand you are already within you there's a purpose you know there's a blueprint laid out for you and it's time for you to fulfill it i love this card right now oh my god that just like tinkled my spirit i love it there's so many cards here like we could go over every single one or I think we're going to save a few for the next video. How about that? I would love for y'all to check this out. Uh, link is in the description. Make sure you copy your deck. Um, I've been noticing a lot of people have been making videos with them. But the person who makes the best video and tags me, we're going to be doing a contest. And I'm going to send you a whole package. I'm going to send you another deck to gift a friend. I'm going to send you some tea. I'm going to send you a teapot. Uh, more details on that to come. And yeah, remind us.